And they are certainly trying to do that, uh, Mike. It certainly is an emotional day here on the MSU campus. Right now I am live at where the remembrance ceremony will take place in just over an hour. Students have been leaving flowers at memorials all around campus, at the Rock and at Berkey Hall and the Student Union where the violence played out one year ago. 7 Action News reporter Brett Cast is here with me in East Lansing and has more on how the victims will be remembered and honored tonight. Brett. Yeah, Carolyn, we're standing uh, just right around the corner from you there at the Sparty statue. This is the parking lot right by IM West. This is where the Remembrance event will take place. They have tents here set up. They have luminaries that are going to be passing out. A lot of activities going on. And you can see a couple of the screens behind me uh, will showcase this event because the live stream starts at 8 p.m., although the event starts at 7.30. They'll be beginning that live stream at 8 p.m. as they start lighting luminaries uh, for students here on campus. Then at 8.12, uh, it's a pre-recorded message from the student government president, then Beaumont Tower will play the alma mater, followed by a moment of silence that is at 817. Then a minute later, the tower will toll twice in memory of Ariel Anderson and Alexandria Verner, marking the time that both were killed in their classroom at Berkey Hall. Then at 825, Beaumont Tower tolls again in remembrance of Brian Frazier, marking the time he was killed at the Student Union. Now, as we mentioned all day today, students have been finding ways to remember the lives that were lost. They've been taking flowers to Sparty's, Sparty's statue, taking flowers to the rocks. Some students even passing out flowers to other students who may not have had a flower. So class, most classes were canceled today. They've all been finding a way to get together and grieve. I've been standing out here pretty much all day in the, in the reflection stage, just trying to reflect and really get through the process. So we've been set up today for almost about an hour now. Uh, we've just been going through being able to put this on. Um, we have our pages that say remember their names, has everyone's name on there too. And again, this event is open to anyone. It is free to the public. It is in that parking lot right by I am West near the Spartan Stadium and the Sparty statue and MSU Union and Berkey Hall. Both will be lit up in green tonight to remember those lives lost. Live in East Lansing, I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News. Spartan Nation will certainly never forget. Thank you so much, Brett. You can